What's up everybody? Today I'm in beautiful Mexico City and I'm gonna show you what it costs to live here. In Mexico the currency is the Mexican peso. I already converted everything to US dollars and at the moment of recording this video 200 pesos are about 10 dollars. Mexico City is the capital and the largest city of Mexico. The city itself has a population of about 9 million people. If you consider the metropolitan area too it would be of 22 million. In my experience almost everyone knows a bit of English but it's still not widely spoken. You will get by with English if you stay in the center or in the most touristy neighborhoods, but I would recommend learning at least some basic Spanish. If you want to become a Mexican permanent resident, you have to get a temporary resident card, and there are a few ways to get one if you are retired and intend to live in Mexico permanently without employment or income from Mexico, if you find employment, if you want to join a family member who is also a temporary resident, or if you start studying in Mexico. The temporary resident card for Mexico is valid for one year initially and can be renewed for a maximum of four years. After four years you can apply for permanent residency. This will then allow you to go out and back in as much as you want. The monthly median salary in Mexico City is about $1,660 a month and this is the salary of a waiter compared to other countries I visited. Renting prices in Mexico City vary a lot depending on the location, as more digital nomads, remote workers or whatever you like to call them flock to Mexico City, the more competitive and pricier Mexico City apartments have become. What about the neighborhoods? The most popular ones are Roma, Polanco and Condesa. Still Navarte, Napoles, Escanon, Juarez and La Ribera are popular since they are usually less expensive but still in the center of the city. I'd say the average apartment costs $800 for one to two bedrooms in an area like Roma. Now that doesn't mean there aren't places out there for less. You just gotta be willing to put the time and research into it. I wouldn't rent something in a fancy neighborhood, instead just rent something in Darvarte for example, next to a metro station as the public transportation works pretty well. I found this apartment for about $660 in Narvarte. As I just mentioned, public transportation in Mexico City works really well. I recommend using it as it is very cheap and efficient. One trip with the metro costs about 25 cents and you can go pretty far. Public transportation has many advantages over owning a car. I wouldn't recommend importing a car because it's a hassle. An American friend of mine told me he gave up because it was so complicated. Just buy a car here if you really want one. Be aware that when there is a lot of pollution you might not be able to use it for most of the week. The government decides which days you can drive based on the ending number of your plate. Gas prices are about $1 a liter which is $3.78 for a gallon. A 10 minute Uber ride will cost you about $2. This is how public transportation prices compare to other cities. Food is pretty cheap in Mexico City, for one month of groceries you could get by with $180. Here are a few prices that might give you a general idea of how expensive it is to live in Mexico City. A liter of milk is $1.10, a coffee is $1.50, a haircut is about $7. As an expat, you have two options when it comes to health insurance. The IMSS scheme is health insurance for employees working for private companies regardless of whether they are a Mexican citizen or an expat. Or you buy a private health insurance from a local company in Mexico. For a private health insurance with good coverage, you would need about $120 a month. And what about the best and worst things when living in Mexico City? Let's hear from someone that's been living here for the past five years. The best feeling is that uh, it's a great hub, so you can fly to anywhere 
you get to meet people from all over the world local cuisine from Asia, from Europe, from Latin America. It's just a mix of everything, flavors, colors, cultures, so that's kind of really enjoyable. People are really friendly here. There's a lot of spirit of service here, so <laughs> if you go to a restaurant, you probably feel overwhelmed of how good they will service you <laughs> because people here are really hard workers. So it's something that uh, as an expat, you, it, it's a very big advantage and you get to enjoy the whole experience because, you know, the nicer the people, the nicer the trip. A lot of people know the basics of English and they will be able to understand whatever you're saying. They will understand a yes or a food or a bathroom, but um, but uh, if not, it's also fine. Like uh, you, you can speak with signs or just point to some something and they will figure out a way to understand you. The worst thing, well, I've been living here for more than five years something that I'm not really in love with is uh, they have to really take care of you at night like you can walk around in daylight and nothing will ever happen there there's really worse places this this place is really friendly and really caring about the tourist and the and, and the foreigner but uh, at night after you you go out for a couple of drinks with some friends and stuff you better walk with someone else and the other thing that I'm not a really big fan of is just that uh, you have to be really aware of how much things cost. Getting a, a, a cab drive or buying something on a crafts market, you just gotta make sure that you're not gonna get it ripped off. Now, if you really want a specific number of how much it costs to live in Mexico City, we could say that considering all major costs mentioned and some other smaller costs for entertainment, like going out and having a few drinks, eating out, getting a few coffees at a bar, you'd need about $1,100 a month. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe. And if you want to support the channel, consider using the links in the description down below. Get yourself a nice t-shirt or a cool hoodie designed by Forbidden Clothing. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.